quite often that you need to set the SharePoint site to read only. Used to be quite easy in SharePoint 2013, 2016, or even 2010. You could simply go to the SharePoint Site Collection Administrator and set the site to read only at database level. Now it's a little bit different. We don't have access to the database and we cannot go there and do it that way. On SharePoint Online, things are a little bit different. And in this video, I want to show you how you can set it to read only. So let's get into it. To set the site to read only, we need to follow a strategy. Our strategy is going to be defining a policy that makes the site read only when the site is closed, and then assign it, assign the newly created policy to the site collection. Right after that, we need to close the site and policy will take over and sets the site to read only. If I want to summarize the steps, there are four steps that you need to take to set the site to read only. The first thing that you need to do, you need to enable the site policy feature. Then you create a policy that sets the site to read only once closed, but does not delete the site. After that, we need to assign the policy to the site. And finally, we close the site and watch the policy taking over and setting the site to read only. Let's do it step by step. This website is supposed to be read only. I created the site. And at the moment, this is not, it is just newly created. So if I go to the document, I can go to the new and I create a new Word document, add some content to it. And finally, giving it the name, I say test file. And I go to the website itself. So you see the new file is added, test file, and it shows that the site is not read only. Now let's get into the process of making it read only. Step one, enable site policy feature. By default, when you go to the modern sites, uh, the site policy feature is not enabled. So if I go to the site information and then view all site settings, you do not see the site policy here. To do that, I need to go to the site collection features and if I scroll down, I will find the site policy feature that I need to click on it and activate it. Before that, I cannot define a policy for the site. So let me go down and verify it. Site policy is active now. So we are done with step one. Site policy feature is enabled. Second, you need to create a policy that sets the site to read only. So let's go to the site itself we go to site setting and this time after I enable the policies I will see the link to the site policies here I click on it and when I get inside it I can create a new policy read only just make sure do not close or delete automatically and then the site collection will be read only when it is closed so as you can see, the policy that I create here, it tells SharePoint, do not close or delete the site automatically. So someone should go there and close the site. And then I also say, when someone closes it, set it to read only. So the policy read only is created. If I click on it, I can see it is created with the setting that I defined for it. So if I go to my list, create a policy that sets the site to read only once closed, but does not delete the site is defined here. After the policy is created, the policy is just in the air. I haven't assigned it to anything. So then I need to assign the policy to the site. To do that, I get back to SharePoint. I go to site setting, this time under site administration, not site collection administration. Under site administration, you will find site closure and deletion. So if I click on this, now this is the area that I can actually define a policy for it. You remember that read-only policy that we created? It is here actually. So now I can select it and I can click OK. So assign a policy to the site is complete. Now I need to close the site. The last step, I go back to the browser. And again, I go to site closure and deletion for the policies assigned, I just click on close the site now. And when 
I close the site you see that the site is read-only at site collection administrator's request after this step the site is read-only I can go to the home page and I can go to any one of those libraries I can click on the document it opens the document but I cannot make any changes if I click on edit content again it gives me the error it tells me that the file is read-only as a part of the entire website okay that was all about it thank you for watching stay tuned for the future videos mm -hmm.